Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for 15th of July to uh, 21st of July. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. And we are to go straight away, uh, straight away to the spread or to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Aries for the week July 15th to July to July 21st uh, That will be the ace of wands Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you Aries needs to overcome for July that would for that week Specifically that is going to be the uh, the Empress card Third one is going to regard to the positive aspect of the week here, and we do have the Justice card. And then the last one, which stands for the guidance the Tarot has for you guys, that is going to be uh, the, the Tower card. All right, so those three, once again, let's run them down. Ace of Wands is going to be in regards to the topic, followed by the uh, Empress card, which stands for the challenges. Then we do have the um, the Justice card, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Tower card, which represents the Guidance. All right, so uh, the topic itself, which is the Ace of Wands. Well, well, Ace of Wands in its general majority stands for the... Uh, for Gaining for enterprise in generally it could be as well considered as a uh, new beginning or rather like a uh, a new endeavor that one is to start. It could represent as a, a new meeting uh, with the, someone that you can start hanging out with, you know, or date with even, you know. It, it could stand as well as a um, as a promotion or it could stand as well as a um, a new project. But the point is that, what, that whatever this new undertaking is going to be all about, definitely it will be gaining for one so you should not be afraid to make uh, certain investments into it now another thing with the ace of wands is that it usually correct uh, characterized with uh, a bit of a, a chaos for the reason being is that in in its initial state of this uh, specific undertaking or an enterprise or whatever uh, things are not a um, 100% made thorough in a sense of that, so, you know, there are a lot of options that one can play with and for that reason, you know, you may not feel yourself uh, very well prepared to take on this, uh, to take on this opportunity, which from another hand is going to allow you to develop additionally a, some sort of a, a talent of yours. Uh, it could allow you to step more bravely into the future and etc. etc. So uh, it's as, as it's going to be an amazing, an amusing, excuse me, um, new enterprise. It also is going to kind of like incorporate a sense of, insecurity to a certain extent the accompanied card here is going to be uh, the devil and uh, the formation it is a active neutrals 
And with the Devil card here, it seems that this enterprise will have nothing to do with your current wishes. It's going to be something totally unexpected. So a big, big surprise from these couple of cards. Uh, you, it is what you can expect for throughout the uh, this week. And that surprise itself, at the start, it may not seem very plausible, right? But... Um, should you take a participation into it you are to see that it can become quite quite gaining for one just if i have to give you an example let's say a relationship it is that you are chasing a specific person but certainly another one appears that it is not the one that you are chasing but with this one that appears you can have again a gaining for relationship all right so leave your uh, mind open uh, for a additional options available and additional opportunities. So the challenge itself uh, is going to be uh, the Empress card and the Empress card points to maturity and it points to the ability one to take a found decisions, uh, which could relate to the stubbornness that one wants something specifically, all right, and instead and it is not focused instead on the overview, just like I gave your example. So you do not make your decision in mature fashion and take the opportunity of the new guy or a girl coming in, which can present you with the same uh with the same beneficial, uh, you know, relationship, but instead you pass on this opportunity and continue on chasing someone that just some that, that just maybe doesn't want to be with you. Okay, so that is the challenge to stop for a second, you know, to do whatever you are doing and assess uh, maturely the situation that you are finding yourself in and the options that are presented to you throughout the week and found and make those found decisions through you know, through the detachment of the midst of activity, being objective of what could be achieved um, based on the means that are given to you to make. Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the strength card. The, um, the formation here is going to be the passive, a uh, passive neutrals. And um, how can I describe it? Uh, we are having a lack of enthusiasm to to take on this new uh, on this new surprising uh, enterprise and undertaking, because uh, once again it's gonna appear not as something that you would necessarily want, and uh, it's it's difficult to be explained. And as well, it it could it does look like that you may seek as well. Mm, confirmation from other people around you like a faithful companions what is the best thing to do it's like seeking counsel of uh, <clears throat> of people that you do have a, a great trust in and that is a good way how you can overcome the reluctancy here of to jump into different into a different endeavor which does not necessarily reside with your wishing and with your hopes or dreams uh, well, it does, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, once again, um, one sh there is a, a two types of, uh, of dreams, all right, let's say it that way. Uh, you can dream to be with someone or you can dream to be happy. Now, the, the major dream is to be happy. Whom with? Does it really matter? All right. Um, more than one person can make you happy. That is just for example, guys. And here, uh, throughout this week, you are to have a, a different option to either be happy or lucrative. And it's not going to be the option that you are striving for up until this moment. So the positive aspect of the week here is going to be uh, the, the justice. Well... I, that is very conditional card in your case, Aries. Now, the justice uh, uh, points that what is going to be positive for you. So what is going to be positive here? Um, <clears throat> being accountable toward oneself. That is the first thing that you need to start thinking of when it comes to assessing your options available. What is going to be the best thing for you to do? And uh, completely disregarding, uh, for example, you know, a 
peripheral influences upon you and upon your situation. And another thing that the justice points, which is a little bit outside of this new uh, enterprise that is coming around, is that you will be able with ease to structure your priorities very well in a such fashion that it is unlikely you are to face any difficulties sorting out with those priorities and tasks moving on forward into the future. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Pentacles formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. <clears throat> And the, this uh, particular combination points to some burning off bridges with especially people which were there, which have disappointed you up until this moment, kind of like settling out scores and as well uh, banishing off a negative influences upon your life. Like I said, people who betrayed your trust, people who are stifling you, for example, trying to... Um, implicate their prior their authority excuse me uh, upon you it's kind of like bruising co-workers bruising um friends as well or a um supervisors it seems that you will be able to detach yourself from from their influence or constrain severely their influence through the well-made structure of one's priorities and so the last card for you, Aries, it's regards to the guidance. And we do have the Tower card strongly correlating and uh, related to the Ace of Wands here. And the main topic of the reading itself, which is the surprise. And the card here points that sometimes... Uh, how can I describe it? Sometimes, and in this case, you know... Uh, what one wants, it's, well, it's difficult to, to be explained. Well, basically, uh, the card does, uh, represents that uh, at, this, at this stage, you know, uh, you will have to take on, the, on, on that um, new way of, uh, of improving oneself with a great amount of clamor. The tower does represents the bringing down of one's uh, it's not structure, but let's say of, of, of one's hopes and dreams and rebuilding those dreams into a different direction. Just like I told you, just like I gave the, gave the example here of, uh, of one strive to make a relationship. So you have to completely abandon your current, current chase and redirect into the new one. Okay. Uh, basically here, the card points that if something isn't work out with ease, it's not worth trying to make it work out at all okay you just have to salvage it and use whatever materials are left from the salvaging of that situation to rebuild that to rebuild similar situation with new means and new goals as well the accompanied card here is going to be the four of uh, the four of ones and the formation it is a uh, active uh, supporters that we do have and pretty much the advice is to to be as quick as possible to make closure with for example uh open type of uh, relationships or rather like a uh, people that you haven't uh, people that you haven't uh reached closure at you know that there are still open topics that you're uh working on as well with a, a projects and instead of moving into a, a magic circles where uh you are chasing someone but that someone is just promising things for example never never accomplishing them or where uh, it, it never goes through a, a certain point now instead you need to close that page and open a new one which is going to be marked with this new surprising gaining for enterprise which comes for you in this week july 15th to july 20 21st if you don't see it that is because you are way too stubborn to make something happen which does not want to be uh, which does not want to which itself does not want to be made happening all right so uh that being said this was your weekly tarot reading guys aries uh, i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, i hope that we are going to uh, see each other around until then bye